Okay. Hi guys. So, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle got released today. And for this game, this game requires 8GB VRAM. I'm using the RTX 3050 laptop 4GB VRAM. And for this game, the minimum VRAM requirements is 8GB. It requires a RTX 2060 Super 8GB or a RX 6600 8GB. I'm using the RTX 3050 4GB laptop. And when I tried to open this game, the game crashed to an error that says fail to allocate VRAM. I'm going to show you guys an example of that error and how to fix it. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and try to open the game. Run as administrator. And now the game the game is going to crash to that VRAM error. There it is. It says fail to allocate video memory. Okay. So we we'll click okay. And uh how to fix this, you're going to go to your, you need to go to your NVIDIA app, open it. And just in case, if you guys are using the older NVIDIA GeForce app, or you're using this new NVIDIA app, anyone works. The old NVIDIA GeForce experience or this new NVIDIA app, anyone works. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your game library. You're going to click the three dots, add a new program. You're going to go to your Indiana Jones games folder. You're going to click on the .exe where you, you're, you're going to click on the game launcher. The .exe that you use to open the game, you're going to click open, add. Now it's in the NVIDIA, NVIDIA app. You're going to go down to the part that says driver settings. And that part here, you're, you're, you're going to change max frame rate. Just set it to on. You can just leave it at default, 58. Apply. Low latency mode, ultra. Image sharpening, you can just leave it, you can just turn it on and leave it at default settings. Boom. And now that's added. You can go ahead and you can close it so it saves the settings. And now I'm going to try to launch the game again. Boom. And now the game is going to work for some weird reason. Why does it work? I don't know. But uh, I'm guessing that uh, now the game works, you see? For some weird reason, the game works after doing that. <laughs> so I'm guessing that uh, the NVIDIA app probably changes the way how the game reacts to the video driver. That's the only that's the only thing I can think of that may cause the game to work, you know, because naturally the game does not work, but if you add it to the Nvidia app and change a few settings and and then save it, the game works. But uh there's a catch to it. The performance is not great. <laughs> I'm only getting like 11 15 frames per second. I'm playing on the lowest settings with the LSS set to set to performance. And yeah. We are pretty much run out of VRAM right now. The VRAM is at 4 gigabytes right now. And yeah, this is what it runs like. And the 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 power consumption for my RTX 3050 is off. It's only using 30 watts for this game only. For every other game, he uses a max 75, but for this game, it only sits at 30 watts for some reason. So, yeah. You may get the game to run. And just to let you guys know, this game requires an RTX-capable card. If you don't have an RTX-capable card, this game won't even work, so it has to be RTX-capable in some way. It has to be RTX-capable. To, to get this game to work and when when you do get this game to work on cards below 8 gigabytes yeah performance may be really bad but at least the game ran and that was the goal of this video is to make the is to show you guys how to get the game to run and yeah I don't want to make this video too long and yeah this game is notorious for its VRAM requirements 
And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.